since my last video went so well, I decided to uh, make one on Piccolo too. How Dragon Ball Super ruined Piccolo. Like always, I won't spoil the movie. And mm, some people probably think the movie handled a uh, Super Dragon Ball. <sighs> Not Super Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Super Superheroes handled Piccolo amazingly. Apparently. I have seen parts of the movie and that was already pretty cringy. A, a review will come up soon enough. But I will just talk about uh, the anime version of Super and partly the manga because j after uh, 131 episodes, how long do we have to wait before a character gets some shine? And I think that the movie didn't really do it so well but we will take it slowly how did uh, Dragon Ball Super ruin Piccolo and obviously uh, this is somewhat of a not a response to Saiyan Scholar but since he uploaded his version I might as well upload my version since I pretty much prepared I was already thinking which I uh, tackle next because I have a uh, uh, some uh, scripts pre prepared uh, years ago not to talk about it but um, there are articles not really scripts uh, about Vegeta, Master Roshi, about Tien but let's focus on uh, King Piccolo um, Piccolo Jr. or our beloved Piccolo and why how the mighty has fallen Let's get into it. The fusion of God and King Demon King is a complete joke in Dragon Ball Super. Compared to uh, other characters, Piccolo got actually really easy. This is a more embarrassment treatment compared to what Android 18 has ha uh, witnessed. Like, Piccolo got out pretty well compared to Vegeta and Goku and even Gohan. But Super still embarrassed him, and uh, but he still got it worse than Android 18, and we will talk about Android 18 maybe at some point. Uh, first, let's uh, look what made Piccolo appealing. He is a reincarnation and son of the Demon King Piccolo, thus his life is connected to Kami. And Piccolo was. Stronger than his father, considered dangerous enough to the point, freaking God decided to train Goku personally. And Goku learned various heavenly techniques like moving without thinking, if you catch my drift, this is a rehashed idea by the Dragon Ball Super. Piccolo so far was the most evil and merciless character we had seen so far, which made sense because he is a reincarnation of evil. He didn't care if his attacks hit bystanders, for Piccolo it's what's more important to regain his honor by defeating Piccolo as the savior of earth, where everyone see him and as the last hope and then reveal him as the demon king that's supposed to be dead. And Goku vs Piccolo was one of the best fights in the franchise, I can't think of many fights and can actually top it from the top of my hand. And it, he and Goku at the end of the arc were considered the strongest fighters on earth. And both stronger than God. It's because of that when Reddit arrived it meant something when Piccolo teamed up with Goku. You don't get the same feeling when you start with C and Kai. Same with the Garlic Jr. movie Death Zone. Despite Piccolo achieving his life goal, his victory over Goku, and because of self sacrifice, felt hollow because he knows the science will also arrive. And those Piccolo did the unthinkable and trained Gohan to unlock his massive hidden potential. As the anime did a great job with Piccolo and Gohan's relationship. It felt believable when Piccolo 
got a chance, a change of heart, to the point he would sacrifice his own life to save Gohan. It was a great redeeming moment uh, for the bad things he has done over over the years. And uh, here's a small fall off uh, when we enter the uh, science uh, Piccolo uh, Nah, it's freezer saga obviously. Uh, where Piccolo pretty much exists just there, uh, at least in the manga. And the anime did a better job in to show Piccolo making the reveal of Freezer's stronger form even more devastating. But honestly Piccolo didn't need to be on uh, in the Freezer saga. Yes, he is on the main game, but none of the scenes he appeared in could have he didn't have a scene where you could how should I see it? Anything couldn't have been fulfilled by someone else. Like the Freezer's two forms were pretty much filler. As a fusion power up bet between the main kids also raised a bunch of questions. Now that we know all Namekians can do it, it makes it more disappointing that they didn't fuse to avoid uh, things in advance. Maybe Joe's and the pro Namekian could have stopped Freezer, but nobody cares about Joe. Not because I made him up on the fly, but it would ruin the arc and no piccolo of fan service. As uh, the Freezer is a cell saga put uh, Piccolo on spotlight again. He trained with Goku and Gohan for three years. Obviously, Piccolo Goku used Super Saiyan off screen, and on the in the manga we saw them training in a um, uh, cover panel that Goku used Super Saiyan to beat Gero, and he became strong enough to beat the shadow of Gero. And uh, then cell. Our existence gave us hype uh, for God on and Demon King to merge the ultimate Super Namekian Piccolo. Uh, while Piccolo ended up being the strongest of the main cast at that point, uh, he let Cell escape and his fight against the androids lured the pod up Cell. And since then, Piccolo didn't even get cut as a main eventer. So, I didn't have hopes for Piccolo in, the, in Super, and Goku and Vegeta have powered up beyond belief. Uh, unless Piccolo merges with random Namekians, or the series gives him a bullshit power up, there's no way he can um, be relevant in serious fights, just appear to have maybe a good fight for spectacle's sake. And here we go, Battle of Gods, worst movie in the franchise. Shaft in Piccolo isn't a surprise. So Super took away his ability to sense God Key because the writers forgot that he used to be God at one point. The real disgrace starts with Resurrection F, Fukatsu no F or whatever, Revival of F, uh, whichever name you prefer. And not only did Piccolo lose against a first form Freezer and got treated like little or further, if you watch the movie counterpart, there's a na guy named um, Shizame who is stated to be on Dodoria level. You know Dodoria is a guy less powerful than Zabon. He beats the shit out of Piccolo to the point Gohan had to step in and turn Super Saiyan to beat him. How embarrassing! Piccolo used to... <laughs> people used to think that Shizame is related to <laughs> Dabura before the movie came out because of that one scene. And it was never stated that Shizame actually trained on the with Freezer. And even if he did, that, that still wouldn't excuse such a jump in power considering what P Piccolo had to go through. His part, he fused with a god, he merged with an Amiki and got exponentially stronger than various forms of Freezer. He's strongest, strong enough to fight Cell. And this is 
<laughs> this is <laughs> this random freezer officer is able to put a fight against him. You can't excuse uh, that Piccolo was also worn down by freezer soldiers. It's like getting tired fighting an army of ants. And is an, uh, and yes, it's it isn't even a fair comparison since the freezer soldiers were even weaker than Master Roshi and and honestly comparing them to ants is an insult to ants because ants to us are more should are more dangerous than those freezer soldiers are to <laughs> Krillin. <laughs> yeah, people of them merging with Neil rivaled second form freezer. During the early Cell Saga he trained on the Super Saiyan Goku, managed to beat Android 20. He fused with God, surpassing Super Saiyan Vegeta, rivaled Android 17 and 18, and then he trained one year in the time chamber. Does anyone believe? Even if Piccolo fought all the Freezer soldiers by himself, and then fought Shizame, who is Dodoria level, or if we highball Zabon level at his most powerful could put up a fight against Piccolo. In after the defeat of Shizami he even ate a Samsubin to add to the ultimate humiliation. Now we look at Dragon Ball Super's version where he didn't even throw away his heavy clothing, struggled against the guy that died in the first minutes of the movie and then dies to protect Gohan again this time his sacrifice felt hollow some people even don't even remember that scene it, and I was reminded by someone recently because of a movie a video recommended where Piccolo died to get rid of the Black Star Dragon Balls in GT uh, it means it meant nothing because we know he will be revived regardless and Gohan is an adult now but we still need someone to babysit him and uh, that scene set up Piccolo's role in Dragon Ball Super well Piccolo became the girl for everything of the Som family you, you would expect him to be more in the heavenly realm pay playing the role of advisor for the current god of earth but who cares seven years is enough training for somebody who came from another planet to know what he's doing right uh, piccolo takes care of pan helps with gardening goes hiking with goku and chi chi and is gohan's personal meat shield we will come to that later later uh, I already talked about uh, how he was pretty much just there in the Universe 6 arc, which is just a stakeless uh, discount version of other world tournament, little C filler. Piccolo and Boo's role from the start were clear, they are just filler characters. Boo didn't even manage to get qualified because he fell asleep. Meanwhile, Piccolo existed to job against Not Freezer. Uh, that fight was animated awfully and made no sense. Do the writers know that Piccolo doesn't need to charge for hours to execute the special beam cannon anymore? He has improved that technique against Nappa. Do the writers know that Piccolo wouldn't use a move considering how unreliable it is? And do the writers know that the special beam cannon is a killing technique and has no place in a tournament where killing is forbidden? Of course they don't, it's Dragon Ball Super. Just turn off your brain and consume product. Just enjoy the nostalgia trip. Such an amazing move, the Dragon as uh, a special beam cannon, right? And that's why being used sparingly, it was burned in our memory because what it accomplished in its fights against Raditz. So it's okay to demote it to be spammed like a generic Kamehameha, right? Uh, Piccolo didn't matter. You can remove him and the flow of the story wouldn't change. Frost cheating was 
pretty stupid and Jerko a character most of us don't even care about. Notice it of all people there. Eliminating Goku for fake suspense. There were actual points I uh, fell asleep at. That doesn't that doesn't even happen to me when I watch Slice of Life anime. The evil Goku arc was another arc where Piccolo got shafted. Semafuba was reintroduced, but instead Piccolo teaching Goku or personally getting involved, Roshi takes that role. Oh wait, Bulma uh, illegally downloaded with YouTube download the Semafuba tutorial video from Piccolo's YouTube channel to show it to Trunks. So technically he did something. The Mafuba is another fake out because Goku trained just to not use it and Trunks learned it in a few seconds and failed because they forgot the seal. They forgot the seal for the Mafuba, they forgot the Sensobin, they forgot the dra uh, God Ritual and the Xenobot. <laughs> is this serious a freaking joke? <laughs> and people consider this arc good despite there being no real tension. Now to the tournament of power. Piccolo trained off screen, made him stronger than ever. Even able to catch off guard Gohan who get regained his ultimate form. Which is now also reduced into a transformation instead of Gohan just being able to access his full power without transforming. <sighs> Made a video about that if you want to watch it. Piccolo in the tournament of power resumed his role as uh, Gohan's personal meat shield. Spamming special beam cannon in a tournament where killing is illegal. And losing his arm in an episode that buried Tian Shinhan because of Blanca Wannabe. They, <laughs> they even had a scene where Go Piccolo saw the character who merged with him. It was cringy as fuck. Piccolo and Kami became one being. Not in a sense that Pi Kami lives inside Piccolo, but all his thoughts etc. He is like Vegito. Imagine Le Vegito saw Goku and Vegeta in his vision. Wouldn't that cringe you out? That is the same for Piccolo. The reason Piccolo calls himself Piccolo is simply because he looks like Piccolo and for simplicity's sake. But the scenes that buried Piccolo once and for all for him losing is against a freaking bug. He lost despite having a sensitive hearing something Android 17 of all people used to beat the bug. How, how can you imagine how embarrassing that must be? For Piccolo, who is the combination of God and Demon, a loss to a uh, nobody bug. We know nothing about that character besides his name and the universe he's from. And honestly, I don't even know what universe he came from and uh, what his name is as the uh, making of this video. <laughs> I suppose uh, to believe that nobody can that nobody can beat. Namek Saga Freezer, Son Goku from the Namek Saga, the Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan, Vegeta from early Saiyan Saga. You can't make shit up like that. He didn't even extend his arm to save himself. And Android 17, if he had that super hearing in the Cell Saga, he wouldn't have been absorbed. They made him into a literal Gary Stu humiliating Piccolo in the process. Piccolo isn't even isn't even worth highlighting as a major antagonist or a secondary henchman type of character like Top. He he gets humiliated by Freezer soldiers and nobodies we know nothing about. Even losing to Ribrian would be more respectful to Piccolo's character. The writers of Toei and Toyotaro don't care about Piccolo. He just arrives to be humiliated. In the Boo Saga, while he didn't fight, at least he planned things up to trap Boo and delay uh, him to make 
go tank stronger but now we can't even do that freaking Bulma is more creative active in the story and as far as I see the only character who was improved and people should stop expecting anything from Piccolo so even I who didn't expect anything was uh, utterly disappointed Super wasn't as disrespectful to him as Vegeta, Goku, Roshi, Tien and Future Trunks but as you see no character is saved by Dragon Ball Super's awful writing.